Welcome to My Life on Paper. I am Brianna and welcome to Creating with Sketches where we're using sketches by Allison Davis and the sketches that we're actually using will be linked below. I will not be sharing um, it is because it is a paid it is paid content. So so the sketch I'm working off of is page number three and it's a one page sketch and I'm using option seven. I think you'll figure out with watching everybody else there's strips going horizontally in the layout and this sketchbook is all about how to use a sketch and use it differently. So one of them is kind of a mixed media background. So I picked out this, I think it's a reflections paper from a reflections paper pad and that is not just going to be my background. I use this blue from my stash and then I'm going to use this Vicky Booten uh, wave stencil but because the background has these two beautiful shades that are both in my the, of blue that are both in my um, pic picture pictures I am going to use it's kind of unconventional but I'm going to use gold and I is kind of matching the sand that's what kind of the vibe I was going for and this is something I don't often do where I'm like sketching where the picture is actually going but for sake of time and, and like dry time and stuff, I just, I didn't want to go overboard with doing the stencil over and over and over. So you'll see how I piece it together. This is a latex spatula kind of thing, brush maybe, that I got on Amazon. And at one point in the video, you will see the latex head fall right off of it. That's the first time that's happened. I've used this a couple times. The first time it happened to me, but it does pop right back in. Um, so I just kind of go and I wasn't trying to be perfect um and I wasn't trying to necessarily I didn't want to like create that line on the side but when you'll see at the ending it pretty much looks like it did a square um the left side and I don't know if it's because I did it second um went uh, much better as far as it didn't line up so much but here I flipped the stencil around and I, I want to get it so that you can't tell it's not a whole one piece stencil and this worked really good. I mean, these are waves, so they're crashing all over the place. You're only going to see a little bit of it because of all of the embellishments that go around it. And the other thing is when you're laying down this, um, um, glitter paste, and I should tell you what it is. It is Nouveau. It is glimmer paste and the color is, if it's not gold, I don't know what it is. Okay. I had to Google it. It's um, Glitterati Gold, and it says that you can, now that I know what it says, it, it's in these funky letters on the side, but um, I have used this for several different things. It's a nice, pretty glittery gold, um, and here is this side where I end up doing a better job of not getting it straight down. Um, I think I stopped the camera like three times to let it dry. I did the right bottom side and I was able to do the top left side without drawing in between because they're not overlapping. Um, you're not, and I, again, you're not going to see a lot of this because a lot of it gets covered up, but it just gives it the right background. And I haven't played with like paste in a while, so I was very happy to use this. Um, if you are, I guess I like to be kind of, I don't want to say a fast scrapbooker, but I like to be efficient. Let's call it that. Um, I don't often pull out my... Um, paste because it takes a little bit to dry but um there you know you can I can always be making a layout in the middle you know a different layout while this is drying I was uh, editing a different video while I was um, waiting for this to dry but I really do like the effect once it dries uh, and here's the last little bit I'll just I'll just fill in and just I would just say note the left side because it, it doesn't give that like squared off appearance I, I'm pretty proud of the left side Oh, there's where the top falls off, but I get it right back in again and it and just keeps, that's the same one and it just keeps going to town. So I check to make sure, yep, that looks good. Here's the, it's dried. Here's my photo. And then I am going to put some foam adhesive tape down. Um, it was almost, you know, I don't do this a lot. I do like that it gives it a little bit of lift, but it was almost like to get it stuck down better because um, it's going to adhere kind of in between the glitter paste. Um, and that's why I chose that. And then I have these, um, chipboard pieces. They are from Echo Park. They're called chipboard phrases and it wasn't summer. We were there, 
um, in January when it was so cold in, in our home state of Wisconsin. So I stay away from the ones that are uh, summer themed, but the little word up on the left corner, or the I shouldn't say word, words, it says enjoy every moment. Now this journaling block is an Ellie Studio. I have a lot of Ellie Studio and I just love it and I don't use it enough. So I went to my blue things. I have a whole iris bin of blue things, uh, embellishments and, and uh, journaling cards, etc. And so this just has XOXO all over it. I get that glued right down right away. And this piece on the right bottom says life is better at the beach because of course that is the truth. Um, my husband and I would like to kind of snowbird down in Florida, so we've been giving it a try. Um, not not for extended periods of time, but anyway, we like it down there. Um, and I will just go with a bunch of different things. I've got this like paper clip arrow, um, and then I, I realize I'm, I'm running into the foam behind it. That's okay, it's going to stick off a little bit, but it, that looks great there. I've got another one for the other side. Um, that's going to be pointing to my husband's head. He, so this is a, one of the places that we kind of walk along to get to the breakfast place that we like. And so last year, yeah, we went a year ago, February, um, we got these pictures taken and we recreated them again now this year in January. So on the top, it's Daryl on the left, I'm on the right, and on the bottom, it's Eliza, Meredith, and Jillian. Jillian gets to be the mermaid, Meredith is the... Dolphin and Eliza is the guy holding the shell, the surfer dude. I, and here I am just pulling out a bunch of blue items from my stash. This is often how I operate when I'm making a layout. I'm getting all my options out there. I pull out a lot of more things than what I will absolutely use, but I, I, I'm the type that has to check out everything because I'd hate to get to the end of the layout and be like, why didn't you use that perfect piece that's sitting on the bottom of the box there? So I had to make sure I had everything and I don't, I did, uh, I will um, go off camera for a bit and then come back. Uh, you don't have to see me dig through everything. Okay, so here are the pieces that I've determined that I, I might use and I'm gonna move them around a lot um, figuring out what I want to use and what I don't. I like that title. It says, um, happy together and, oh, so happy together. And there's quite a bit of words and titly things, but this, I, I, I just loved how all these colors went so well together. Um, if you haven't been to my channel before, I am a super big monochromatic layout, um, person. A, uh, it just, it just, I don't know what it is about it, but I really, I really like it. So um, I tend to kind of go that way often. So with these different blues, I'm just loving this. Um, I think that blue leaf is from a dollar store sticker bunch, and that's like the last one of them. Uh, that heart circle on the right-hand side on the bottom there, that is a Ellie Studio. And then I just have, again, all these word bits. I'm just trying to figure out if I can make them work. Lots of arrows. I don't end up putting... I don't think any more arrows on than what's already on. Um, most of those on the top, those light blue ones on the left top, were something that I made with my Cricut. And um, I put, I just have them in my stash. Here's a bunch of tabs. Those are LA Studio tabs. And that blue piece says sunshine and blue skies, which is perfect. I love it when things don't always say summer because we are, we visit, um, Florida when it is really winter. I try a lot of things up in that um, corner where the the right side of the picture is, but um, I end up taking kind of everything off and then kind of starting over. It just seems like a lot, uh, even though I'm going to try to layer more stuff on there. Um, I go back working down on the bottom side, try all those circular bits, and I brought out some, in the, well, kind of glitter pieces um, and I don't usually do this but I used three of the uh, they're not sequins the kind of the glittery ones up on the left hand side and then I used three blue ones that are more of a matte and those go on the right hand side I believe these are from creative memories if I'm remembering correctly 
and uh, but they're all blue, so I'm 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 good. Normally, I think I would sprinkle one of each color in each cluster, or one of each kind in each cluster, but I was just going for it here. There's that Ellie Studio piece, and then I will take one of those fishtail banners to stick up on that um, part of on the top part of that photo, and that's what I settle on in that right there just brings a little bit more of that blue across that light blue across so i'll probably put the date there but i want to thank you so much for hanging out with me through the end make sure you see the playlist below for everyone that is playing along with creating with sketches have a fabulous day and please come back and see me again soon